So I wanted to show you uh, this video before we get into the uh, meat and potatoes of the accessories just to kind of get what your appetite for some of the uh, mountings, the uh, stuff you can put under the desk, some of the stuff that you can put on the back of a uh, monitor, and of course the expansion modules so that you can add a, um, a DVD drive, you can add an a additional whole hard drive, and then this one I think is real cool, this rack mount. I'd love to have this, even if I put, didn't put it in a rack. Before we get into looking at the items that we saw in that video, thank you uh, HP for that video, the one I wanted to bring up was the one I thought was more of the, more, one of the more interesting ones, and it's this lockbox. Um, here's kind of a picture of it. And what it does is that it, uh, I guess it makes it so that people can't get into the server or the, you know, the, the PC and disrupt it. It will actually hold both of your, the PC and also the um, power supply. And um, I found this nifty list of um, accessories for the G1, G2. Um, and it talks about the, the, this desktop mini lockbox and it's just, just G1, G2 models only. It's this particular part number, but this guy is the mini lockbox V2, which has a slightly different one. And that one will fit the, um, the, the G3. And, and I'm sure the G, oh, right here, G4, etc. And so that will uh, allow you to do it. I was gonna see if we had any of those available on eBay. I believe I've seen them before. Let's check those out. Well, unfortunately, a search of eBay uh, didn't turn up anything. And I know that I checked <clears throat> I would say probably at least a month ago, and I found them going for, oh, maybe about 20 bucks, um, but didn't find any. I also looked up just the word, uh, like HP lockbox. So I'll have to keep looking to see, but, um, cause you'll notice that um, on other places, um, like, you know, CDW, um, you know, they, they want, you know, I don't know, 130, 140 bucks. Uh, 120 um, that's quite a uh, you know <laughs> it gets to be a little expensive for some for for an accessory like that but you can kind of see let me see if there's a better picture um, do they include oh here we go some other photos Essentially, you stick that guy in there and then um, lock him in. There's a little tray here. This is where the uh, power supply would go. So I'd keep looking for that one. I think it's kind of nifty. The next set of accessories I wanted to talk about were these uh, mini expansion modules that pretty much just connect to your uh, mini uh, via the, um, the base amount uh, screws on the bottom there. And uh, they have a couple different ones. They've got ones that's just a straight optical drive, um, which you know, essentially gets you a DVD drive and it um, you know, connects to the unit. Eh, you know, th that's kind of nice, although um, you can get a, a pretty decent um, external DVD player that you don't have to, you know, attach all the time for probably half the price of what I've seen these going on uh, eBay. There's also a hard drive um, unit that uh, um, you can, you know, add on. Uh, I, I believe it just holds a SATA drive in there, or you know, mechanical. And then there's also one that's just a straight rear I/O that will give you. Um, I think you can get. Things like uh, uh, what 
is that that's probably a cereal. Uh, looks like you can also add um, your old school um, uh, PS2 ports and maybe some additional um, USB-C, not excuse me, not USB-C, just normal USB-A. <clears throat> the, um, you know, a lot of these and they all connect uh, together and they get all their juice from the, uh, the main unit. Um, you know, these were kind of nice, uh, a nice thought and probably back when they were, um, you know, if, if you're kind of more of a collector type and you want to um, sort of uh, get all the, the stuff that was available at the time, it'd be worth it. Um, if we look, so as example, let's say for the um, uh, DVD, we'll give a check on uh, eBay and see what's uh, what they have available. Okay, that's not too bad. Um, 16 bucks. Um, here's the same one, but uh, probably comes the part of it though is you need the um, make sure to see what kind of mounting comes with it. Oh, well, they actually are giving you the uh, the stuff you need as far as the cables. So that's not a bad price at all. Um, these are like more, uh, I guess, newer units. Let's see. Oh, although, you know, 12 bucks shipping. So I guess the whole price does come out to about 27, where it's a little less than this. But again, um, I think, you can pick up either a Dell or LG external DVD player uh, for about 20, kind of depends on, you know, looking around. Uh, but you can see kind of the, uh, you know, wide ranging pricing. Let's see, the other one would be uh, the expansion port, expansion module or the hard drive. That one tends to be a little more expensive. Let's see what they have for that. Hmm. You know, uh, it also depends whether it even comes with, um, I don't know if this came with an actual uh, drive in there. Let's see, open box. External drive. Mm. Well, it does say 500 gig hard drive, which you know, 500 gig, like that's that's decent, you know. Um, I mean, price wise, fifty three dollars for a uh, external. Um, most likely, it's going to be, of course, mechanical. Uh, you're not going to have your SATA, um, uh, you know, SSD type things in there. So that gives you kind of an idea on those. Um, I don't know if anyone would really want to get just the straight I.O., but that would be another one there. I'm not sure what this SATA drive bay kit, two and a half inch. Let's see what that looks like. Oh, <laughs> it's basically the caddy, okay. Wow, interesting, which again, you could probably get for, okay. So the next interesting one is this uh, um, HP desktop mini um, security dual Visa mount V2. I'm not quite sure the difference, even though now they do have a V3 out, so if we look up this guy, we'll see kind of a range in price. Um, well, this this one's giving you free uh, free shipping and fifteen ninety nine. This is um, it's going to kind of show you the the image. So essentially, um, this part here screws into the back of the monitor. Then your unit, uh, you know, your, your G1, G2, G3, etc., goes through here, 
then the screws would go into the back of the um, uh, the elite desk um, and then if you had of course like a monitor arm that would also screw in to the back here and then you'd have it um, I think I see let's see if we go to um, When I did the search before, there was this version three, interesting, that includes a, um, a power supply holder. So I guess you could put your power supply guy in there and then um, that way it wouldn't have to be, you know, sitting down on the, on the desk there. Uh, does this have a model number? Well, it has a product. Let's see. Let's see if that is something we can search for. Oh, okay. They do sell that too. Okay, that's another one to, to, to think about. Now, for most things, of course, this would be if you wanted to sort of turn a normal monitor uh, and your um, you know, G2, G3, et cetera, into kind of one of these all-in-ones. Um, of course, that also assumes you probably aren't gonna be tinkering much with that guy, um, having to go and pull it from the back, but you know, it also gets it out of the way. Okay, the final one is the one that I would love to have just because uh, I could put all my uh, uh, minis together. Um, wouldn't even put it into a rack just to be kind of cool to have them all sitting next to each other. This is some of the information. Let's see if we can zoom it a little bit, um, showing how you can, um, uh, I guess you can even, this place for the power cables. I guess you could put two power cables next to each other. It flows in there. And then you've got this nice little rack of them that uh, I guess you could put into an actual, if you, you know, had one at your home there. Everywhere I've looked, it's been out of stock. Uh, if anyone ever finds the, um, the actual one, uh, let me know in the comments. I'd be very curious to see what it looks like. Maybe we can um, uh, throw something up on, on the channel here. Okay, that about wraps up. Um, let me know if there are other accessories out there that you've seen uh, that you've been using.